everyone, this is Linda with BuildOnlineBusinessesNow.com. Today's video is going to show you how, how and where to find uh, pictures for your blog and how to install them into a post. So the first thing I want to let you know is that while some, some people may think that they can just go out on the internet and search for a picture and then download it and then use it for whatever purposes they feel they need to use it for but actually that's illegal um, you really need to go out and find stock photos or free royalty free Im images that you can use on your um, blog posts and videos or whatnot but just going out there and taking videos off the internet is actually a violation of copyright laws and you can actually be sued or actually put in jail which usually doesn't happen, but you can <laughs> be put in jail uh, for downloading photos that are not yours. So um, just don't do it. You know, the photos are there. What people put on the internet doesn't mean that it's free. So today we're going to go to a couple different sites, and the first one I'm going to show you is FreeDigitalPhotos.net. These are all free sites. Okay, so you sign up join up for free and over here in the search bar you can search for whatever you want um, I'm gonna make a couple test posts today on my test blog and since it's gonna be springtime very soon I'm actually looking for some flowers so we're gonna type in uh, tulips and see what comes up So we got a lot of tulips here. Um, let's see, I'm looking for color. Let's try this one. Okay, there's no watermark on the photo, and attribution is required. It's free, and that means we can download it. So we're going to click on download, and it says how to publish a credit. We're going to right click and open in a new window because we'll need that for our image in our post you need to read the terms of use to make sure you understand how this site works once you do click agree and then the hard part entering in this code that I can never read okay uh, once you click on download you're gonna save it and remember where where you save it at then we're gonna go over to our dashboard on our blog we're gonna click post add new Type a title. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do where it says upload insert, click on the icon. Select the file. It will automatically upload. And there's our picture. So the next thing we're going to need to do is go back to the place where we clicked on, where we need to get the attribution. Uh, we're going to use the website use link code. Just highlight, control C. And then control V in the description area. Change your title. One in the center. This size looks good. Insert. And there's our pretty tulips. So we'll go ahead and publish it. And we'll view the site. And there's our post. Okay, so a couple other sites that I use are photosearch.com. And one I found today is cozy.com. You can sign up for free and you get 30 high quality photos per month when you subscribe. So make sure you, once you sign up, you should hit the subscribe now for free button. 
and then you can get 30 images of your choice for free each month. Okay? And um, the other thing you want to do is go to your favorite search engine and click on um, and search for free distribution photos or free stock photos or royalty free photos. Okay? Just make sure you read the terms of each um, site and each image before you download them. Make sure you agree to them, okay? And one other thing I want to show you really quickly is we're going to make a new post. We're writing a title. And then we're going to click upload, insert again. And if you've previously uploaded images to your blog, maybe you didn't use them before, maybe you did, you click on Media Library, and then you can find all the other things that you've uploaded. So click Show, and if you've already filled in this information, you just go ahead and insert it into your post, and there's your picture. Publish it. And then view it. There it is. Very easy. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.